Alright, how is everyone doing? I'm finally back up at my, uh, up in my dorm, my apartment. Uh, I've got everything sort of unpacked. I've been here for a week. It's been a uh, hell week, actually, for uh, preseason for soccer. But, uh, I am now trying to set up my CO2. And, uh, just dropped my bubble counter. Anyway, uh, here's a regulator. Just showing you how I'm going to do everything. Um, the regulator will go on top of the, this is a paintball CO2 tank, I think a 20 ounce or 24 ounce, 24 ounce. And I've got an adapter on there, it's closed right now. Um, and then uh, I'll take one of these rubber fittings, or um, rubber, I guess, bands. It'll go in here to help make a, a better seal. Sorry, there you go, I can see better. And once that, I'll attach the regulator on. Uh, the line goes down. I've just got a lot of tubing, just because that's what I uh, received. Into a steel valve check, into a bubble counter, just to check to make sure everything goes. And then eventually on the end, I will have a uh, glass diffuser. I believe it's a uh, mono style, maybe. I don't know. Can't really tell or remember. Like I said, it's been a rough week. I finally got a little bit of a break before our final scrimmage, but, uh, or no, not even final scrimmage, second scrimmage. Uh, it'll be going back into the five gallon. I'll give you guys a tour of the room in a little bit uh, once I actually get everything set up. My roommate hasn't moved in. Uh, he should be coming in tomorrow, so let's hope he uh, likes everything. So, uh, cheers. I'll, I'll show you once I get everything, or I'll, I'll try to do it step by step. Just so you guys know, uh, I started working when I was about 15, 14, 15 years old for one of my neighbor's deck building companies. And all the time, I was I was the one in charge of carrying around the compressor, uh, unhooking all the hoses uh, for the uh, pressurized nail gun, all that stuff. So I absolutely hate working with pressurized gas. It, it is one of my absolute fears. There's so much energy involved. Uh, with pressurized gas so you always need to be extremely careful when working with this stuff uh, I'm a little off but uh, let's see if I can set this down maybe yeah not gonna happen anyway I'll give you guys a bit of a maybe this will work I don't know how good of a shot that is and if I blow my head off you'll get a good view at least all right Try to never stand in front of it. There we go. Okay. Now I released the uh, the air. Basically, this chamber is now at the same, or this this uh, gauge, the first part of the regulator, is now at the exact same pressure as the tank. Uh, I, all I did was open up this valve here. Um, now I can change the pressure in here by changing, by turning this on. And uh, needle valve is closed now. So I can turn this. Once it starts catching, you'll see, you should see this needle start coming up. Okay. Starting to catch. See? There's a little bit of a jump. So. That means now this is at a lower pressure, this, this top valve gauge is at a lower pressure than the tank, which is good. That's what we want. We don't want all this uh, air, all this pressure coming through. Now, this right here on the end is the needle valve. It's, um, it takes even this lesser pressure and allows only a little bit of air through. So that's how we can control the uh, amount of CO2 so we can have only a little bit of going through the bubble counter at a time so we can uh, more easily control the amount of CO2 because this, this uh, is very difficult to manage and uh, I'm just I always just turn it on a little bit get the right um, rate that I want a, a decent rate of CO2 and uh, that's that's how I'm doing my injection. All right, so I am going to get everything 
set up into the tank. Hopefully not disturb anyone too much. But um, yeah, and I'll show you guys once it's uh, up and running. Alright, now the final thing uh, that you need to concern yourself with is distribution of the CO2 around the tank. Uh, this diffuser, the ceramic diffuser, uh, let me grab the other one just to show you guys. This guy will make fairly fine bubbles of the CO2 which will not be able to break the surface tension of the water. That's exactly what we want because we want it to dissolve into the actual uh, water column. <clears throat> I like to place my diffuser underneath either the intake and have the impeller chop up the bubbles even more and then distribute it out into uh, the water by the outtake of the filter input or outtake of the hang on the back filter uh, or uh, what I've been doing with this setup is placing it directly underneath the uh, output of the filter so the bubbles will come up here actually get pushed in by the uh, or pushed out by the water flow and then spread out throughout the tank I'm actually moving my hand around and you can't even see it um, it'll get spread throughout the tank that way and uh, spread out the CO2 and uh, allow for better plant growth. So that's the idea. I finally actually put in all the rocks and uh, I trimmed down the lotus. Some leaves that I didn't mean to trim down were trimmed down and some that should go uh, actually stayed. But uh, uh, cut down the pennywort too so uh, we'll, we'll be looking good shortly. Um, I've got the bubble counter right here. Right now I've just got water in it. Uh, a lot of people use glycerin or, or some thicker substances so that the actual um, bubbles move slower and they're easier to count. But uh, I'll show you once it's up and around. Wait, I can't. Okay. Um, do I have that upside down? I might. I think I actually, yeah, it should be resting the other direction. Yep, and you can see it's bubbling through. So I just had it running the wrong way, but uh, that's how it works. But CO2 will then follow the airline tubing around and into the diffuser, and which will be pumped around the tank for the, the plants to use once the uh, lighting's up. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out fishtanktv.com, and I uh, hope to have more videos coming your way soon. Cheers.